Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss on how we can trigger a function on button click of O216. So here you can see that I've created a custom module that has company management and it is already installed. So if you go to the back in view of this module, here I have defined the Python file for this module. Here I have given the model to be inherited. So I am inheriting the model hr.employ and here I have defined a custom field that is age. And if you go to the view, here you can see that I have inherited this view from hr.employ. So you can see that I have given the reference here that is the external ID. So I'll show you how to get the external ID of a view in Udo 16. So if you go here to employees and if you click on one of the view here. So this is the form view of the employee and if you enable the debugging mode and if you just click on it and here you will be getting an option that is edit views that is the form here if you click on it you can see there's an external id so you can just copy it in order to customize the view and if you go to the back end again here i have given a button and i've also specified the position here so here i'll define a function uh, sorry button and if you go down here i have also given a field that is the custom field for the same view and also i have specified the position of the view here and if you go to the front end here you can see both the button and the field that is the custom field that i have specified so you can see both button and the view uh, field custom field is added to the view and if you go back and if you go to the python file here you can see that i have given the function for the button which i have created and down here i have given a doc string where i specify for what this function is and as you can see this is a basic function I have just defined a basic function here where it checks the age of the employee and raises a validation error if it's greater than 30. And if it specifies or if it verifies the condition, it goes to the else statement where it would create a project for the employee with the name of the employee. So this is a basic function here. So this is how you give a function for a button click. And if you go to the front end view here, I'll just show you the workflow. So here I'll just give it as 30. I'll just save it after giving it as 30. So here as you can see that the age of this employee, I've set it as 30. And if you click on my custom button, that is the approve button here. And if I click on it, you can see a validation error is popped out because it is equal to 30 and as you can see the message here the age should be less than 30 so this is the validation error which we have specified in our function on the button click so i'll just click it on ok and i'll just give the age of this employee as 28 and i'll just save it and I'll click on approve and here you can see that the function is now gone to the else state where it would just create a project. So if you go to the project module here a project has been created for the employee with the employee name. So this is how you give a function on a button click in Odoo 16. That's all for today. Thank you.